Hey guys, that my gamer back here for that video, guys. Today we are opening up another bundle. Okay, I know I'm gonna open up that many bundles this year. In all honesty, I'm gonna stick to this year a lot more of no money spent. But I opened this bundle up before, and it was actually pretty good for me. So I said, why not? Let's go ahead and double dip, guys. It's early in the season. You guys love bundles. Let's go ahead and start off right away. We're gonna start off with a premium bundle. We're going to start with the premium toppers, okay? I'm going to go ahead and cover my eyes, all right? And we're going to slowly reveal ourselves here. And, okay, 83 overall patch with card. I actually kind of low-key need this card, but I'm going to just quick sell it because the platinum cards are always more expensive than what the actual regular base elite is. So, there's no point to go ahead and go for that. All right, what is this one? All right. All right I see the Colts. Oh, AD overall. Come on, man. I need to see an 87. I saw an 87 last time. Okay, I got an 87 overall last time. I need another 87 overall. What is this? I see Falcons. Oh, Kevin Lee. Okay. Bro, come on. Now, this might be a mistake in all honesty because you guys already know that early on in Madden, you know, packs are always juiced. Packs are always, like, broken. And then throughout the year, they get even worse. I mean, throughout the you know couple, coming weeks, they get worse and worse. All right, we're going to save the last four for the end of this video, okay? We're saving the last four for the end of this video. Uh, at least starting off right away, we get a punter. 80 overall, okay? Now we'll see Elite again, baby. Let's go. 80 overall, Devin Bush. Power up Harrison Smith. All right. Some people have actually asked about that is, are the power-ups going to be mad expensive uh, when new cards come out? And in all honesty, 100% yes. Uh, until training priority packs are added to the game, which I'm not sure when EA is, or if they are going to add them to the game. But if they do get added to the game, they will be mad, mad expensive if uh, they don't add training priority packs. If they add training priority packs, power-ups will plummet in price so keep that in mind if you are holding on to a lot of power-ups uh you know it they could definitely pay off for you as a long-term investment but just keep in mind the ea track record is we've had in the past uh those um training priority packs and they have absolutely destroyed uh the price of cards so keep that in mind as we get oh another bit oh my god man we get a lot of 80 82s bro i was in 87 ea sports come on where is that oh okay time out time out time out his basically is 300k and we get mark andrews hang on his basically is 300k is his other card is his power up also expensive i feel like it would be right it has to be right Okay. What are we looking at? Okay, guys. I'm covering my eyes right now. How good are we talking? Okay, 50, 50K. I'll take it, bro. I will take that. Um, His power will probably go up in price if he gets a new card. If he gets any kind of new card, he'll probably get a power-up increase. All right, let's see this platinum card, boys. Let's cover the eyes for the platinum card. Platinum card reveal. Three, two, one. Oh, come on, man. Let's get this out of the way. Let's get these platinum cards out of the way, man. Let's get these platinum cards out of the way. What did I tell you? I said, let's get these platinum cards out of the way. And EA Sports said, we will bless you. We will bless you with some good pack luck, bro. We will bless you, that mutt gamer, with some good pack luck if you get him out of the way. I guess. I go oh, wait wait this is the animation okay never mind I'm stupid I thought I thought that like extra I thought that was extra coins like you know depending on what overall it is extra coins pop out I, I'm stupid I'm really stupid okay and man this bundle um it's been um 83 okay with a Tyree kill pool that was actually pretty good I will say and the 86 overall platinum card, that was not that bad. But it's... It's been pretty lackluster. We got six packs left and, you know, 83s are actually pretty decent. I got to keep that in mind. In the back of my head, that an 83 overall was not a crappy pull. 
it, I want to say it's a crappy pool, and I want to think it's crappy pool, but it's really not a crappy pool. And 83 overall, 84 is actually pretty good too. Uh, these are all technically good pools. This early on in the game, these are actually good pools. Later on in the game, they won't be. 80 overall, okay. Mm. 80s are kind of on that fence though. I want to say 80s are good, but they're not. <laughs> they're not really that good, 80 overall pools. And we got two packs left, man. Ooh. I, 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 bro. You know, bundles are going to hurt this much early on. I'm glad I'm not doing that much this year. I will definitely say that. If bundles are going to hurt this much early on. <laughs> um, mm, okay. Well, that bundle was... Uh, it wasn't too great. Wasn't too great, but it wasn't really that bad. It was a kind of like a mixed uh, breed on that one, right? It was like, wasn't too great, but wasn't too bad. Obviously, out of that bundle, we got, what is that? 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, exactly 20 elites out of that bundle. Okay, we got out of the quick sales, I'm not sure exactly how much. I think I saw this video off of like 400 some odd K. So I think I got like 270K out of quick sales. And then these base elites go for anywhere from crazy values of, I think he's not even on the auction house. I think he goes for like 9,000 coins. These 80 overalls go for like 9,000 coins each. Yeah, around 11,000 coins each. Uh, the 84 might go for something like 83. Was that, what did he go for? 20K. So again, like I said, yeah. These, uh, Keenan Allen is a known player people like. 25,000 coins. Okay, so some of these guys go for some decent values. Some of them just go for absolutely like 10k each. So you got to think theoretically speaking 180k there. So probably around like almost 400,000 coins. Actually what I got in the first bundle too. So overall and then obviously I got all the gold cards. I almost forgot about all the gold cards because I have so much gold cards now. And I also forgot about power-ups. Actually, let's see how much are those power-ups going for? Uh, the power ups we pulled today. We pulled, um, obviously Tyreek. I know Andrew goes for like, I was going to say like three or four K. Um, Eddie Jackson, he goes for 3000 coins. Okay. Not bad. Harrison Smith, uh, two K. Okay. That's not too great, but not too bad. Stefan Gilmore. He probably goes for a decent amount. I feel like 10,000. So some of these power ups do go for a little bit of coinage. I will definitely say that. So is that, oh, 22 K for Josh Allen. I will take that. Michael Thomas is going to be out the whole entire season. 4,000. But once he gets a brand new card, his power up should go up in value a tad bit. That should increase in value uh, if he if he gets his power up. Uh, but overall, like I said, guys, not bad. I mean, definitely do not ever recommend spending money in this game. Never spend money. Always go ahead and, you know, just grind your way to the top. Because this game will literally bleed you dry of every single dime you have. I would definitely say that by EA Sports. They do not care about that. But guys, if you did enjoy this video, hit the like, subscribe, and down below. Uh, make sure you check out my other channels. I have a tech channel called Ryan Tim Tech. I have a fantasy football channel called uh, Fantasy Truck Stop. And I have a second Mutt channel called That Mutt Gamer 2. Make sure you check them out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.